Hello, guys. I'm Patrick, and welcome to another Mac tutorial. So today, I'm going to talk about the topic: What is the best tool for Finder? So now there are a lot of different corporations who is、um, trying to program these good tools for Mac Finder. In order to make your Finder sorting files more easily and more efficiently, so I've downloaded an application called Dropover. Its slogan is "Easier drag and drop."、Um, it is also recommended by some other YouTubers, so I tried that. And today, I would, I would like to share my experiences after a few days of using that. So you always want to sort different files more efficiently. I've introduced the tags and favorites in Finder, but there are also some problems when sorting files. Okay, for example, you go to Document and you want to move this utility, School Slip, Zoom into your desktop. No, there are different places. You so you hold command and hold this utility, scroll slip, and zoom, and you drag them like that. But when you wanna go to other folders to sort things, and when you finish sorting them, when you come back, these three you chose already disappeared, and you want to sort all of these. Gather onto the desktop. So, once you install your Dropover application, choose these. Have a little bit of like shaking in here. Go to Movies. Choose all these things, things you want. Shake. Finish sorting and put all these files onto your desktop. So that's how easy you. Now, after I showed you how to use that, you really want to download that, right? So you can get it easily from your Mac App Store. Just type in "drop over" and you will find this thing. You just click download and install, and it will open in your. Launchpad. You can also access their official website. Here, you can access their Mac App Store from their website as well. But this is not the only function of Dropover. You can use Dropover to save the good information on the internet to your desktop. So, for example, you really like this picture for your title of your history presentation. Just shake that. Put your files here. You want to have this picture? Put it here. You want to. Other things. Going to save this. Put it here, and then put them onto your desktop. Isn't it a lot more convenient than right-click and save as to where we? So now let me show you the normal ways to save and file. Right click, save image as. Type your name, tags, where, and then click save. But using drop over is a lot more convenient to do that. You can download drop over free on the Mac App Store, but it is it has the 14 days trial. After 14 days. 
it is going to require you to operate to Pro. If it's not Pro, you can still use that, but you have to wait 4 seconds until you put the file into the dropover box. So that's the only difference. So if you cannot intolerate, intoler intolerate the time waiting, you can just upgrade to Pro in a very cheap price. Thank you so much. I'm Patrick.